Like how exciting it is. Do you want to put the book under the push chair so you don't lose it? Put it under there. Under here. Or in there. Yes, okay. The push chair can go the book can go for a ride. That's it. Lovely. Look at him. Good morning everybody. It is Sunday morning. I feel like it's been forever since I last spoke to you guys. I did film a little quick clip this morning um, before we left the flat to go on a little walk and to do some shopping. But I didn't film anything else because it was so, so, so busy. So I'm going to film a little bit of today and then maybe a little bit tomorrow or the next day. So I do apologise that I didn't upload anything on Friday, last Friday. I just needed a week off. Sometimes it can be a little bit demanding. And I just didn't really have the time. So I just thought I'll leave it. And then I got loads of Instagram messages and people commenting on my TikToks and my lives like, where's the YouTube video? And I was like, oh God, you just don't think that people care enough. And then you get loads of people asking you where the, where the video is and it makes you realise how many people actually do watch you even though you feel like they don't. We went to Starbucks and I got a toffee nut latte with almond milk. I haven't had this in like a year and it's so nice. I got Alfie a chocolate baby Gino which he doesn't really want to drink. He's just more interested about putting the straw in the bin. Hello darling. Hello. But yeah, I ended up getting some wrapping paper from WH Smith. He's singing free beat slide. <laughs> If you, yeah, you know. if you don't know what free beat slide is, search it up because I'm telling you, it's one of the most funny things I think I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, WHMF are doing three wrapping papers for three for two. So they're four ninety nine each, which is quite expensive, but I do find that if you get really, really cheap wrapping paper, then it does rip and it's just not as good quality. So I got three lots of these for a tenner, which I don't think is too bad to be honest, because I don't know how much is in each roll, but I think these are really, really nice. And then we also popped into Flying Tiger and I got this mug because I thought it was so cute. So you can put your little biscuits at the bottom there and then put your tea or your coffee in there, which I think is so nice. Or like maybe a hot chocolate with a load of cream. I'm definitely going to be using that a lot. And then I also got some Christmas napkins, I think. Yeah, from Tiger as well. I'm trying to convince Charlie to do like a Christmas party, Christmas gathering, but he doesn't really seem to be on board with the idea. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to be on board with the idea. We're doing a Christmas gathering, aren't we? Yeah. It took me ages to even get him to say yes to that. Or I just think it'd be so nice. Like our flat is quite small, but I think if we had like both of our families, I just think it'd be a really nice thing to do. Um, but yeah, flat is an absolute mess. I probably need to sit and really do some washing today and get the place sorted out a little bit. We've got the toot toot drivers all over the floor over here. All of Alfie's toys. He's in actually the really like cutest outfit ever, but he does look a little bit like a girl. Oh, yeah. That was a nice morning, was it? Yeah. Nice weather, no storm. Kai Kiaro. Kieran. Oh yeah. What at work yesterday called it Storm Ki Kiaro. No, these wrong. Storm Kiaro. Good morning everyone. It is now the next day. I feel like I barely filmed a thing yesterday. In fact I know I barely filmed a thing yesterday. I literally filmed like one clip in the morning and that was it. But I just oh, oh. I just had a lot on yesterday. I was trying to make a roast dinner and then me and Charlie were trying to finish Manifest, which we actually finished. If you don't know what it is, it's a series on Netflix, but it's really annoying because they do series one on Netflix, series four on Netflix and two and three are on Now TV. So we literally paid for Now TV just so we could watch it. So, oh, also if you can't really tell, it's the morning. It's like half eight in the morning, which is quite late for me actually. But I was so tired, but yeah, anyway, I'll get into it. So we had two episodes of Manifest to go last night and we finished it which was so so good oh this is gonna be loud Morning, awesome. so yeah we watched the last two episodes and i was so yeah. I oh you want to watch tractors alfie's here by the way uh. pointing at the tractors aren't you uh. do you want to watch the one you watched last night you liked that one this one uh. no guys there is nothing he is more obsessed with than this the tractor show of 2019. I find it so bizarre how they all have like their own little quirks. Do you know what I mean? By the time that they're this age, they all have things that they absolutely love and are obsessed with. And it's so mad because like this time last year, I would never have known what he really, really liked. And now it's like, oh, okay, 
he's obsessed with tractors. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I kind of went a little bit off course with season four of Manifest because I just felt it, it got a little bit ridiculous. And I was, every episode I was saying to Charlie, like, this is so ridiculous, this is so far-fetched. Um, and I feel like the writers just kind of gave up. So I was struggling a lot with the last season. But if you haven't watched it, definitely go and watch it because it is so good. And at the end, it was so worth it to get through that last season. The last episode was far from disappointed like I was so worried that I was gonna get to the end and it was gonna be like awful like boring or like really predictable I wouldn't say it was ridiculously far-fetched but I would just say it's the most realistic outcome and I just thought it was brilliant I really did think it was brilliant and I'm really sad now that it's over me and Charlie spent ages researching the characters last night um, trying to figure out who they were and what, what else they've been in because we don't want to do it while we're watching it just in case there's any spoilers, you know? Um, but anyway, it is Monday morning today. I am just about to make mine and Alfie's breakfast. I don't really know what to have, to be honest. Do I have strawberry, strawberry oats or apple? I think I might go for, for apple. So Alfie should be going to his dad's today, which will hopefully give me a chance to catch up on some cleaning and I really really need to go to B&M and get some cleaning bits because I feel like I've run out of everything at the same time but I do get scared because I know that when I do go to B&M I will literally spend like £100 in one go and I really don't want to do that but then uh, or do I just do that I might just do that I might just go and actually spend £100 in one go because I need so much Christmas decor. We have no Christmas decor because this is the first year that we have been in the flat. So I have like little bits from my room and stuff last year, but nothing, nothing major. And I just, I want some nice like Christmas bits to go up. And I also want some Christmas cleaning bits as well. And then I'm gonna come back and crack on with some cleaning. So I'll probably film a little bit of a sort out. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. It's because we stayed up so late watching Manifest last night because we were so determined to finish it. But, oh my God, I could literally sleep. <laughs> so this is my absolute go-to breakfast for Alfie at the moment. It's just one of those apple porridge sachets. And then I split it into both compartments of his um, plate. And then I put a bit of honey on it and then some peanut butter toast. But you found a rose, haven't you? A rose is... You can't have that. Not for breakfast. Oh, the tantrums. Look, this is better for you. Come on then. Oh, and you've had a nice little nice little go at the recycling bin there, haven't you? So this is my go-to breakfast at the moment, bar the fact that A, there was way too much, and B, I spilt all of it along the side because I basically put too much milk in it and then it made it too sludgy. So then I had to add an oat -a -bix to it to make it more like how I like it. And then there's too much. And then in the microwave, it went all over the side. Yeah. You get what I mean. I just feel like porridge is so easy and especially for the winter, it's just such a nice, easy, quick breakfast. And it fills you up for hours. Okay, so I've dropped Alfie off at his dad's. I've just popped to Starbucks. Now I have been budgeting, guys. I have been budgeting. I have cut back on my Starbucks consumption dramatically. However, this is the third one in a row. For no other reason other than I always pretty much go before work. I didn't for two weeks actually, but I went before on Saturday. And then yesterday, me, Charlie and Alfie went into the little shopping centre near us and we got a Starbucks from there because it was like a cute family day, do you know what I mean? But I didn't pay for that one actually. Charlie paid for it, so I guess that doesn't really count. And then I would have made a coffee at home because I have all my syrups at home. This is such a long-winded story. Like, this is so stupid, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I have all the syrups at home and everything to make a perfectly nice coffee that I really enjoy. But I knew I wasn't gonna have time because I have to go to B&M because B&M is in this area and I just, I knew I was gonna have time. So I popped to Starbucks, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this, guys. I have no idea. So I decided to branch out and get the eggnog latte. So I've never had this in my life. 
I remember Charlie had it last year and he said he would never get it again. Like he didn't mind it, it's drinkable, but he would never get it again. So I went in and I asked the lady behind the counter, can I have it with almond milk? And she basically said that eggnog is the milk, so it's very dairy heavy. Obviously I'm not vegan anymore, so that's not an issue for me, but I just find milk icky. Like I, I just find it icky. I can't have it in my tea. I could never have it in like porridge or anything like that. I still would have to have soy milk because it just makes me, ooh. I just don't like it but she was like we can do half and half and just see whether you like it like half almond milk and half normal because it is very dairy heavy and I was like yeah okay do that so I have no idea what this is gonna taste like and I am fearing for my life right now but let's try it oh my god that's quite nice that's really nice that's not what I was expecting at all I mean, obviously, this is half almond milk and half eggnog milk or whatever you want to call it, but that's really nice, guys. I tried the caramel. I just spat everywhere. How gross. I tried the caramel waffle one the other day on Saturday, and it was horrible. Like, I would pick this over the caramel waffle one. I feel like the caramel waffle one was very, very, very bland. Maybe not enough syrup, like, not sweet enough. And I like normal coffee. I'm not, like, I don't have to have an excessively sweet coffee to enjoy coffee. I don't even have sugar in my coffee. But I just found, like, if it's supposed to be caramel waffle, it's supposed to be sweet, right? And it just wasn't. So this is way better. This has more sweetness to it. I definitely get it again i probably wouldn't get it every time just because of the amount of milk in it it does make me feel a bit ugh, but obviously half and half with half almond milk and half eggnog it's not too bad actually anyway i'm really impressed with that but i'm gonna head to b&m now i probably won't film anything while i'm in there because it is very very busy very 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 busy and a very cluttered space so i'm probably gonna do like a tiktok video for it and i'll probably just insert that tiktok video into this video for youtube um so then you can see everything around the store and everything and then i will do you a little haul when i get back of everything that i bought myself but yeah let's head to b m silent night i only have one wish for the shooting star holy night send me someone to love so i can I am back from B&M, so I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. It's basically just a massive Christmas haul. Like, it's, well, it's not massive. I spent 60 pounds, which isn't too bad for me, to be honest. I've been known to spend hundreds in there. So hopefully, all of this will look really, really nice. So the first thing I got was this throw here. I thought this would look really nice in my living room because currently we have an autumn theme going around. I don't know whether you can see in the back, but we've got all the autumn cushions out, the autumn throw. So I need to change all of that around and make it more Christmas themed. It's only November, but I don't care, guys. I literally, I, I do not care. Like it's christmas it's christmas in my eyes and i'm happy with that take it or leave it but anyway yeah i thought this would look really nice in replacement of the orange throw that we have over there i'm just gonna actually open it and just see how big it is because i have no idea this is 15 pounds as well by the way which is super cheap for a throw if you go into next you're gonna be spending anything from like 40 pounds plus so i'm very happy with the price of it but i don't actually know how big it's gonna be i suppose it doesn't really matter it looks quite big i'm not gonna lie okay so this is the size of it that is a pretty damn big throw if you ask me i think that's gonna look so so nice it's so soft as well like that is the nicest material ever so that is gonna look lovely in theme with all the christmas stuff so moving on to some of the other bits that i bought so i bought 
this i thought this was really cute they did have another one that had way more snow on it but i quite liked the one that was more green so this was eight pounds i think i'm probably just going to put that on my table or somewhere because if i put it anywhere else alfie's probably going to get it and then i bought this for our little front door i mean we live in a flat so it's not like anyone's really going to see it but i just think it's a really cute little touch when people come around or when i'm walking through the door and i'm like oh like it just looks so cute this was six pounds so i thought that was really nice and not too over the top as well because it's quite small i also got this candle this smells gorgeous i'm not kidding it's frosted winter berry this was four pounds oh, it's just christmas that to me is just christmas so really happy with that that'll probably go on my table as well now i did look at the toys for alfie but honestly i feel like there's so much in there that it's almost overwhelming so i find it much easier to decipher what to get him online because there's not even though it's technically more choice you have more like i don't know how to explain it you can search something up and find it and within that theme if that makes sense but when you go into b&m there is literally everything and that is great but i my uh, my brain i just couldn't so i didn't really find anything for him but what i did find was these two books so this one is the night before christmas this was three pounds and this is christmas magic this was three pounds as well i believe both of them yeah both of them are pull push pull and pop inside so alfie absolutely loves books that you can kind of play with and pull up things and open things up he absolutely loves that so i know that he's really going to appreciate that i was thinking of putting it in his christmas eve box but it doesn't really make much sense so i put it in his christmas eve box and then he literally has it for like two days and then it's not christmas anymore so i'll probably give him those like maybe the beginning of december or something like that next i got this christmas tablecloth i'm not gonna lie they didn't have a major amount of choice for tablecloths and this is something that i was really really hoping to get but i thought this was the nicest one so that's what it'll look like when it it's on the table the one that i really liked actually wasn't a wipeable one and obviously that's not going to work with toddlers so this is the only wipeable one that i really really liked this was five pounds it's got a little christmas tree santa candy canes i thought i just thought that was quite nice to be fair um so i'm probably going to put that out in a minute oh yeah by the way all of this i'm putting out like now literally now <laughs> just for reference it is actually november the 6th so the main thing that I went in for was a mirror. So I ended up with this one. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my absolute favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of marble. I probably would like it more if we had like marble themed in our bathroom or in our room or something, but we don't. So there wasn't really much choice, I'm not gonna lie. This was seven pounds, but it is quite nice if this is what you're looking for, but honestly, I just needed a mirror. I'm pretty sure I forgot to say that Alfie actually splashed my mirror in the morning. So that's why I actually ended up going to B&M in the first place. I just thought that I would quickly add this in because I didn't actually give you much context as to why I was banging on about a mirror. Like I wasn't even bothered whether it was gonna be bright neon pink, neon green or white black. I, I wasn't really bothered. But the only thing I do like about this, right? This is gonna sound so weird, but my other one i still have another version of my other one in my bathroom because i had one for my bedroom for me to do my makeup in and the other one was in my bathroom and it's got a metal base so it's like this but all the way around i can't even think about the metal i can't even think about it one of my biggest like cringiest you know when things just make you shudder like give you the heebie-jeebies one of the worst things for me is metal on other surfaces oh my god this is so bizarre right but i would literally lay in bed with charlie and we'd be falling asleep and then i just randomly shiver and he'd be like what's going on and i'd be like i've just thought about the metal <laughs> like my brain just cannot get over it it is metal on surfaces oh can't stand it so the only thing that i really liked about this was that this doesn't have a metal surface so this scraping along surfaces isn't going to make me go into cardiac arrest um and all the other ones that they did have were metal so i thought this would this would do i mean it was only seven pounds it's got you know the zoom in bit and then it's got the oh can you can you see yourself oh there you are that's really cool uh, <laughs> i'm such a child um but yeah it's got like the zoom in mirror and then the normal mirror so I thought that would do for what I need it for. Moving on to cleaning bits. So I got this SIF Winter Indulgence Spray and then I also got the cream cleaner with it as well. I'm probably gonna use this for like my sink and my bathrooms. And then obviously this is just sort of random surfaces. I do have the Seflora Winter Spice, but I don't I don't love it. Like it's, it's nice, but I'm not obsessed with it and it is running out, which is why I thought I would top myself up on that. But I also got some zaflora vanilla and amber i really love putting this in my sinks and leaving it in there for like three days in some water because it makes the whole flat smell gorgeous so very happy with that as well and then the last thing that i bought was some fabric softener this is sugar plum delight 
don't know what this is gonna I was about to say I don't know what this is gonna taste like I'm not not really gonna be out, about to drink it out of the bottle but I don't know what that's gonna taste ah I don't know what it's gonna smell like but I also have the I don't know what it's called but it's you know like the plug-in thing where where it like radiates the smell around your house I've got that I'm pretty sure I've got that in the same scent as this so I better like it because if it's not nice then my whole flat's gonna smell a bit I'm just gonna spray it oh no that is nice that threw me off for a sec there because I was like, hmm, not sure about that. But yeah, anyway, that is my little haul. I spent £60 altogether, so not too bad for everything that I bought. And I'm going to crack on and do some cleaning because this place is a mess. And I really want to use all of my new winter scents. So I'm going to put a wash on and just get the whole place blitzed and looking all nice and Christmassy. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it is much, much later on now. It is now quarter to five, just coming on quarter to five. I've just done a massive, massive clean of the flat. Obviously, as you saw, I've made sure that the whole living room is all nice and cozy. Obviously, this isn't the extensive Christmas like bits that I'm putting up, but I need to get a few more bits. It's just when I was in B&M, there was nothing that I was like, that was screaming at me that I was desperate to get. Um, but obviously with the tree and everything, whenever whenever we get a tree, I think we're going to get a fake tree because there's no point having a real one. Um, so we'll probably just get a fake one, maybe even from B&M because they had some really, really nice ones as you would have seen in the video that I uploaded onto here. But it just looks so cosy in here with the new throw and the Christmas cushions. My mum actually bought this one. I don't know where it's from, but it's really cute because Alfie absolutely loves cats. And then obviously over there, we've got the little christmas trees and the christmas candle and then i put a little thing of alfie's books there like christmas books for him and then i've hung the roof up there because i didn't actually realize that our front door as in not to the building but to our flat doesn't actually have like a hook or anything and obviously i don't want to make a mark because if i make a mark sorry i don't know why i'm so burping so much because if i make a mark then we could get in trouble with the landlords and i don't, I don't really want to do that so i thought I'd just hang it on that window which looks really really cute actually I'm pointing at the TV, it's literally over there. Hopefully Alfie can't reach it because I don't really want him playing with that. But yeah, I've literally cleaned every single room. Every single room. It's been so nice. I love doing this on a Monday. I film a few bits for TikTok and yeah, it's it's just really nice. Alfie's dad's just called me and asked me if I can give Alfie dinner, which is actually really good because I was really stumped what to do for dinner because I, I wanted to do pasta, but I always like to do pasta when Alfie's here because I know that he loves it. And then if we have it too much, then obviously we're not, not gonna want it. So he's gonna bring him back an hour earlier at six o'clock. So he'll be back in about an hour and then I'll be able to do mine his and charlie's dinner which i'm really excited for because i just i love pasta but yeah i've hung up loads of washing i've put loads of washing away which is my absolute worst job if you don't know i can't stand doing the washing but yeah all in all just a really nice chill evening while i have the time i might actually make myself a quick hot chocolate so i have my little hot chocolate and coffee station here i have some gingerbread syrup some vanilla syrup some mint hot chocolate and some gingerbread hot chocolate i think i'm gonna go with the mint one because this is honestly the nicest thing in the world. I bought this mug the other day from Flying Tiger. I still haven't even taken the label off. I need to do that. But how cute is that? I know they sell these literally everywhere. They had a few in B&M today actually. But I just thought it was so nice. And I like, well, to be fair, that is actually quite a small like drinking bit. But 
Oh well, I'll put a couple of biscuits at the bottom and make it look all cute. Hate on me all you want for not staring it properly, but I actually really like these little chocolate bits, but how cute is that? Yeah, I'd say the only thing I would say is that there's just not enough hot chocolate there. Like, they needed to make the biscuit bit smaller and the drink bit bigger. Just in my opinion, anyway. Still extremely cute, though. Like, I just love the concept of sitting here with the chocolate caramel digestive and a hot chocolate. I'm literally going to be making dinner in half an hour. Tell me why I'm doing this. No, I'm not a winter girly. I am a summer baby through and through. If I could pick what season to have, like one season for the rest of my life, it would 100% be summer. But I do love this time of year. It's just afterwards. January and February actually makes me feel sick to even think about because I hate those months so much. The only good thing I have about those months now, I have Charlie's birthday in the middle of January and I have Alfie's birthday at the beginning of February and then I have my mum's birthday in March. So I feel like that does make it go quicker because you have things to look forward to but it's just such a depressing time of year. There is nothing worse than January and e oh no I'd even say actually February is probably worse because it's so cold and it's like for what? For no reason. We don't have Christmas coming up. We've got nothing to look forward to apart from spring. Spring feels about 10 years away because the weather is so cold. It's just hideous. But I like this time of year because it's not too cold to the point that you're like freezing your tits off. But it's not like overly warm to the point that you're sweltering. I'd say at the moment where I live, I think it's like 14, 15 degrees is average. Maybe below that actually. But I don't mind that so much. I just can't stand like when it's two degrees oh there is actually nothing worse than that but yeah anyway i think i'm gonna end this vlog here guys because it's coming to the end of the day it's dark outside i don't even know what the time is probably like five o'clock and it's almost pitch black out there which don't know don't know about that but i'm taking alfie to gym tops tomorrow morning then i think i'm seeing my mum because she's off week off week off work for a week and yeah i think i'm just gonna have a nice chill cozy week sorting things out getting a few more Christmas presents. Maybe in the next vlog, I'll show you all the things that I've got for Alfie so far. I'm not gonna lie, majority of it is second hand because I can't be bothered with A, the boxes, and B, spending 40 pounds on, say, a bit of plastic that he's literally gonna play with once. If you do that, that's absolutely fine. I'm not even gonna go into this right now. I literally just said I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm not going to sit here and ramble any longer. But yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and comment down below if you wish to do so. And with all that being said, I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys.